Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 most dangerous dams in the world. These structures, while engineering marvels, pose significant risks due to their size, location or structural issues. Join us as we explore these colossal testaments to human ingenuity and the potential consequences should they fail. From the unstable foundations of the Mosul Dam to the sheer immensity of the Three Gorges Dam, we will delve into the factors that make these structures both impressive and precarious. The delicate balance between progress and peril is never more apparent than when considering the world's dams. These behemoths of concrete and steel hold back vast quantities of water, providing essential resources like hydroelectric power and irrigation. But their very existence creates a delicate dance with nature, one where the consequences of failure can be catastrophic. Over the next hour, we'll journey to some of the most awe-inspiring and potentially dangerous locations on Earth, examining the engineering challenges, environmental concerns, and human stories intertwined with these monumental structures. The Mosul Dam, located on the Tigris River in Iraq, is widely considered the most dangerous dam in the world. Completed in 1984, the dam was constructed on a foundation of soluble gypsum and anhydrite rock, materials highly susceptible to erosion by water. This inherent instability requires continuous grouting, a process of injecting cement into the foundation to fill voids and prevent seepage. However, even with constant maintenance, the risk of catastrophic failure remains a constant threat. Should the Mosul Dam collapse, the consequences would be nothing short of disastrous. A wall of water estimated to be over 40 meters high would surge down the Tigris River Valley, inundating Mosul, a city of over 2 million people. The potential for widespread devastation and loss of life is almost unimaginable, making the Mosul Dam a stark reminder of the delicate balance between progress and peril. Our journey takes us to the Zambezi River in southern Africa, home to the Kariba Dam, a structure of immense scale and equally immense risk. Completed in 1959, the Kariba Dam holds back the world's largest man-made reservoir, Lake Kariba, a body of water so vast it actually altered the Earth's rotation. However, beneath the surface of this engineering marvel lies a critical weakness, erosion at the base of the dam's plunge pool, the area where water from the spillway erodes the rock over time. This erosion has created a significant risk of a catastrophic breach. If the dam were to fail, a wall of water would surge down the Zambezi River, threatening the lives of millions living downstream. The potential for devastation is compounded by the dam's location upstream of the Kahora Basa Dam in Mozambique. A failure at Kariba would likely trigger a cascade of failures, unleashing a catastrophic flood of biblical proportions. We now travel to the United States, to the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, where the iconic Hoover Dam stands as a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of the raw power of nature. Completed in 1936, during the depths of the Great Depression, the Hoover Dam was a marvel of engineering, taming the mighty Colorado River and providing water and power to the arid southwestern United States. However, the Hoover Dam's location in a seismically active region poses a significant risk. The dam sits on a fault line and a major earthquake could have devastating consequences. While the dam itself was built to withstand significant seismic activity, the surrounding rock formations are not as resilient. A large earthquake could trigger landslides into Lake Mead, the reservoir behind the dam, generating a tsunami-like wave that could overtop the dam. The potential for widespread damage and loss of life in the event of a major earthquake makes the Hoover Dam a stark reminder of the ever-present risks associated with even the most impressive feats of engineering. Chapter 4 Our journey now takes us to China, home to the Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric dam in the world. Completed in 2006, after over a decade of construction, the Three Gorges Dam is a monumental achievement, harnessing the power of the Yangtze River to provide electricity to millions. However, the sheer scale of the Three Gorges Dam also makes it a source of significant environmental and safety concerns. The dam has already displaced over a million people and flooded vast areas of land submerging historical sites and altering the delicate ecosystem of the Yangtze River. 
Furthermore, the immense weight of the water behind the dam has raised concerns about the potential for increased seismic activity in the region. A major earthquake could have catastrophic consequences, potentially leading to dam failure and a devastating flood that would impact millions. The Three Gorges Dam stands as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between progress and the environment and the potential risks associated with mega-projects of this scale. Chapter 5 we return to the United States, this time to the Colorado Plateau, where Glen Canyon Dam holds back the Colorado River, creating the artificial marvel known as Lake Powell. Completed in 1966, Glen Canyon Dam was a key component of the Colorado River Storage Project, providing water and power to the American Southwest. However, the dam's construction and operation have had significant environmental impacts, altering the flow of the Colorado River and impacting downstream ecosystems. Beyond its environmental consequences, Glen Canyon Dam also faces structural concerns. The dam's concrete has been subject to cracking, a result of the alkali silica reaction, a chemical process that can weaken concrete over time. While the Bureau of Reclamation has taken steps to address the cracking, concerns about the dam's long-term integrity remain. A major earthquake or other catastrophic event could have devastating consequences, potentially leading to dam failure and a massive flood that would inundate communities and ecosystems downstream. Glen Canyon Dam stands as a reminder of the complex challenges associated with managing water resources in the 21st century and the potential consequences of human intervention in the natural world. Chapter 6 Our journey takes us to California, home to the Oroville Dam, the tallest dam in the United States. Completed in 1968, the Oroville Dam is a vital source of water and power for California, but in 2017, it became a stark reminder of the potential dangers posed by aging infrastructure. During a period of heavy rainfall, the dam's main spillway suffered a catastrophic failure, creating a massive crater in the concrete and forcing the emergency use of the dam's emergency spillway. However, the emergency spillway had never been used before and erosion quickly threatened to undermine the spillway, potentially leading to a catastrophic dam failure. Over 180,000 people downstream were evacuated as engineers raced to stabilize the situation. Thankfully, disaster was averted, but the Oroville Dam Crisis served as a wake-up call about the importance of dam safety and the need for ongoing maintenance and upgrades to aging infrastructure. Our journey now takes us to the Italian Alps, to the site of the Vajon Dam, a structure forever etched in history as a symbol of the devastating consequences of human hubris and engineering oversights. Completed in 1960, the Vajon Dam was a marvel of engineering, soaring over 850 feet above the valley floor. However, the dam's location, nestled between steep mountainsides prone to landslides, would prove to be its undoing. Despite warnings from geologists about the instability of the surrounding slopes, construction of the dam proceeded and the reservoir behind the dam, Lake Vajon, was filled. On the night of October 9, 1963, a massive landslide plunged into Lake Vajon, creating a wave over 600 feet high that overtopped the dam and surged down the valley. The resulting flood devastated villages and towns downstream, killing over 2,000 people in one of the deadliest dam disasters in history. The Vajon Dam disaster stands as a chilling reminder of the importance of heeding scientific warnings and the potential consequences of ignoring the power of nature. We journey to the western United States, to the state of Idaho, where the Teton Dam once stood as a symbol of progress and irrigation, only to become a stark reminder of the unforgiving power of nature. Completed in 1975, the Teton Dam was an earthen dam designed to hold back the waters of the Teton River and provide irrigation for agriculture. However, the dam's design and construction would prove to be fatally flawed. On June 5, 1976, just months after the reservoir behind the dam was filled, a leak was discovered in the dam's structure. Efforts to contain the leak proved futile and within hours the dam catastrophically failed, unleashing a wall of water that swept through the downstream valleys. The resulting flood killed 11 people and caused billions of dollars in damage, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. 
The Teton Dam collapse served as a tragic lesson in the importance of rigorous engineering standards and the need for comprehensive safety measures when constructing large dams. Our journey takes us to China, to the site of the Bankiao Dam, a structure whose failure in 1975 resulted in one of the deadliest dam disasters in human history. Completed in the 1950s, the Bankiao Dam was designed to control flooding on the Ru River, but a combination of heavy rainfall and typhoon force winds would prove to be its undoing. In August 1975, Typhoon Nina unleashed torrential rainfall on the region, overwhelming the Bankiao Dam and causing it to catastrophically fail. The dam's collapse triggered a chain reaction, leading to the failure of dozens of other dams in the region. The resulting flood unleashed a wall of water over six miles wide and 20 feet high, inundating vast areas of land and causing widespread devastation. The official death toll from the Bankiao Dam failure and subsequent floods is estimated at over 26,000, but some estimates place the true number of casualties far higher. The Bankiao Dam disaster stands as a sobering reminder of the devastating consequences of dam failures and the importance of incorporating extreme weather events into dam design and safety protocols. Our final destination takes us back to the United States, to the state of Wyoming where the Fontenelle Dam stands as a reminder of the ongoing challenges associated with maintaining aging dams. Completed in 1964, the Fontenelle Dam is an earthen dam built to harness the waters of the Green River for irrigation and hydroelectric power. However, the dam has a long history of seepage, a concern that has persisted for decades. Seepage, the slow movement of water through a dam's structure, can weaken the dam over time, increasing the risk of failure. While the Bureau of Reclamation has implemented various measures to address the seepage at Fontenelle Dam, Concerns about the dam's long-term stability remain. The ongoing seepage at Fontenelle Dam serves as a reminder of the importance of continuous monitoring and maintenance of dams, even those that appear to be structurally sound. The consequences of dam failure are too great to ignore, and proactive measures are essential to ensuring the safety of those living downstream. Thank you for joining us on this journey through some of the world's most dangerous dams. Remember, while these structures are vital for water management and energy production, they also require constant vigilance and maintenance to ensure safety. As we've seen, the consequences of dam failure can be catastrophic, leading to loss of life, widespread destruction and long-lasting environmental damage. It's essential that we learn from past disasters and prioritize dam safety, investing in regular inspections, maintenance and upgrades to mitigate risks and protect the communities and ecosystems that depend on these structures. Only through proactive measures and a commitment to safety can we harness the benefits of dams while minimizing the potential for harm.